Anyway, I'll do it here at least. Um, okay, so what do we have? Like, we'll do it by all, and then, but we'll do it in one tier, one tier list, but by all, okay? Instead of doing multiple. So we start by knight. Um, a win. Is he a tier? I think he is. Uh, uh, okay, I'll give him a tier. I think Tywin is still really, 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 really strong and annoying right now. He, okay, back when he got buffed, he was giga broken, right? I'm pretty sure, like, everyone realized he was insanely broken. But then, LRK got buffed, and everyone was spamming LRK, so Ewin fell off a cliff, basically, because he's really bad into LRK. But now that LRK fell off a lot, because of, like, um, a lot of things, actually, so I'm just not, not gonna get into it, but, like, because LRK fell off a lot, He's back to being insanely strong. Like I have, ve like, I have very bad win rate against Tywin, and I have very good win rate with him. And like, everyone that, that that I know that plays him has very good win rate as well with him. He's really, really, really oppressive. He limits your picks by a lot, and if you don't instantly pick and you mean you prefer like end guy, you cannot just die. So like for instance, if you see someone going um like how well made one two you can just slam tywin right like what are they gonna do they're not gonna go how oh, well made and guys like it's like giga shit anytime someone picks a knight and a soul weaver that don't give that immunity you can just slam him and if you play and gun and guy yourself you can slam him basically every game i can go just like and guy tywin basically every game how fast can you make him it doesn't matter how fast you are you just need to be faster than your carries like mine is three, uh, mine is 200 speed like mine is 200 speed, like no, it doesn't like okay. Uh debuffer you like debuffer like Tywin, like Briseria, stuff like that. They're tuning units, which means you just want them to go be like you just tune them based on your team. Like they don't have a set speed, you just like you just tune them based on, on the rest of the rest of your team. Like I, I there's no point having a fast Tywin if your, if your team doesn't go right after, right? Like if you play a 250 Tywin and then your next fastest unit is 180, like what's even the point? Zero point. He was always effectiveness on him. It depends how you play. Um, personally, I don't. But if you don't play, uh, if you're not a male player, I would go for it, yeah. Like, the way I play, I never really face people that play ER, basically, right? Because I'm the one playing ER. I'm the one playing ER, so no one really plays ER against me. But if you don't play ER yourself, I think you go 100 effectiveness on Tywin. It's really, really good. Anyway, Tywin, I think, is here. Uh, FCC, she's full of... I mean, yeah, she's full enough for... Fallen off a lot. She's she used to be the premium and Tyagro Knight, and she used to be a Cleave Anchor as well. Now she's just it's not, not not much of a point for her, basically, right? Like she just doesn't do enough. Like it's sad, but yeah, she doesn't really do enough. Oh, it's still shit. LRK. Is LRK even a new need? Okay, okay. Do you guys know anyone that plays LRK and has success? Because I don't. Is not this like yeah. 51? Ranking 100. You think it sucks? Yeah, I, I, I think like it sucks right now. Like, I'll be honest, I think it just sucks. Okay. Uh, Lilias, I don't play her, so I can't rank her. Uh, Tywin. Okay, I think Tywin is good. I don't play him, I don't play against him, but I think he's good. Like, his kit is good. I, I think I'll put him in 8 here. Yeah, like, some people really like him, right? I, I feel like his, like his kit makes sense to me, but, but like, basically. Like, I feel like his kit is, like, makes sense, right? Like, you see LRK is more of an aggro knight than anything. Like, Tywin, like, his kit makes sense. Like, I could see myself, if I wasn't playing here, I could see myself playing Tywin. Uh, Yula. Yula sucks, no. She just doesn't, like, she's just too slow. Like, she doesn't do anything, no? She just, like, sit there the entire game. Like, come on, man. Uh, Siamin, I don't think she's that good right now, honestly. But she isn't that bad. Okay, is she... Okay, I'll check her win rate, actually. 58. That's a lot better than LRK. 60. Okay, you know what? 58. Okay, she's 8, yeah. Wait, actually, can I check Tywin? Anyway, I do think Tywin is good, honestly. Like, I, I'm really surprised the win rate is so low. I feel like Tywin is good, but what can you do? Uh, Trozet sucks right now. I feel like Rath could be pretty decent right now, but I, I don't have him gear, so. But I, I do think he should be pretty good right now because of the meta. Yeah, he should be pretty good, no? Like, it, he's, like in theory, he should be good, right? Like, he's, he's, he's resilient to, to, to Green Lilias. Like, I know. Okay, I'll put him A. Now, I'll put him. Ah, yeah. I mean, Zerzo is worse than Siamin, no? Yeah, I agree. I feel like he's underutilized too. I feel like he's kind of good right now. Okay, I'll put him in A, but like, this is just theory, basically. Okay, Eton, I haven't seen him in forever. I think he's kind of shit right now as well. I think Eton is too passive of a knight right now. 
And I think we got enough brews there, enough brews, like good um, aggro counters that we don't really need it anymore. I mean, Chrissy in one place there, so who cares? Uh, PDC, yeah, I think PD sucks. Uh, but I mean, this is something that I've always thought like PD sucked. Oh, well, it's their own tier. Okay, I can't agree. I, I can't agree on that. Okay, so we just, okay, um, okay, how about this? Okay, LFA isn't as shit as the other one. I'll put him here. Like, C feels kind of, like, FC, B, okay, but like, C, maybe not. Like, I don't like him, but like, okay, maybe not, maybe not C. Okay, I think that's fair. Ah, that was Mitigation Knight. What did we do last time? Mitigation Knight, then we did... Oh, Soul Weaver. Okay, Soul Weaver. Like, support, basically. So, first of all, we have Engai. If you play slow, I think Engai is B tier right now. Like, I'll... Okay, no, maybe... Okay, it depends how... What you, what you mean by slow, I guess, maybe? Like, Margaret is slow, for instance, but he's still first pick Lilias, right? And, like, I think Engai is really good if you play Lilias. It's just a matter of play style, basically. I'll put him B because I don't like him, but I think he's, like... I don't know. It depends how how aggro you play. If you if you first pick a knight, don't play in guy. If you first pick a fast you need, go in guy. And yeah, it's really good if you play Tywin as well. Mm, I'll put him there. Yeah, like, okay, I'll check his win rate actually. You know what? Like when we have a DAO, we just check the win rate, like it's fine. Like I feel like it's fair. Like sometimes when I'm not sure, we just check the win rate. 53, that's shit. 64, okay, that's what I'm talking about. If you're below 16 legend, like, anything below 16 legend is giga shit, by the way. Because the average legend player right now, they're like 70% win rate. My units, if something is below 70 right now, it's shit. Like, uh, Solitaria, shit. See, I mean shit. Like, it's not necessarily the unit, but like, the way I play them, if, if something is below 70, it's shit. Like, you just compare this to like, your own win rate. Like, if, I, if I'm like 70, 70 plus, like, if 60 is shit. Anyway. Okay, end guy 8, yeah, I think that's fine. Uh, then we have Soul Weaver, okay, so... Didia! Okay, he's a debuffer, but I'll do him now, because he's C anyway, so, okay, Didia is C. You don't really play DJB if you play slow, so I won't even rate him. Uh, Destina, I think she's fell, she's fell off a lot, so I'll go B tier for now. Yeah, I think B tier is fine. Okay, so, the issue with units like um, Destina, Eton, uh, Trozette, yeah, like Destina, Eton, Trozette, stuff like that, they're pure anti-agro units. Like, they do very, very, very little outside of aggro. Like, they're really, like, they don't really have that much value compared to, like, like other knights or other soul weavers. Like, they're just very, not greedy, but, like, they're very bulky. They're statistics, in a way. Like, they're just here to, like, tank. They're just here to tank. So, they, because they're so tanky, they lose a lot of value in their kit, right? Which makes sense to make up for the fact that they're so fucking tanky. But since aggro isn't as good right now because we got 6 billion anti-aggro units, for no fucking reason, by the way, but like since, since we got 6 billion anti-aggro units, then those units lost a lot of value, basically. Anyway, um, Diane, I haven't seen her in a while. I think she's probably B. I think Diane isn't bad. Like, she's not great, but I don't think she's bad. Elena, I like her a lot, personally, so I'll put her 8 here. I think she's quite good. Elena, if you go, I mean, on my build, at least, I like her a lot. I think it's quite strong, so... And like, overall, I think she's a good unit right now, so I'll put her 8 here. Like, there's a shit ton of AOE in the game right now, so she gets a lot of value. The okay, ATR, I think, is fine. Mate, I think she's A right now, she's pretty strong. Okay, I look you wanna put Luca in this tier. Luca is so fucking good. Like, she's so fucking good right now. Okay, I'll put her as tier. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, she's good for boss playstyle. But yeah, she benefits a lot from the meta. Okay, so, before you fin, I think you fin, uh, Luluka was A tier. After you fin, I think she's just here. Because, okay, one of the issues, if you draft you fin, uh, if you draft Luca, you can just, like, Solitaire can be really, really fucking annoying. But, like, if you play slow, if you play purely slow, Solitaire can be really fucking annoying. But now we have Candy, and we have Yuffin, and both shit on Solitaria. Like, both are really, really good against Solitaria. So, you can just, like, slam her alongside, like, any, any of those two. And your opponent, like, if they pick solid, you just lose the game, basically. So, yeah, I think Luca is really fucking strong right now. Uh, Rona, same shit as usual, like, BTR is fine, she's a counter pick. I don't play this unit, so I have no opinion. Don't play this unit. Uh, Sharon is like bit um... Yeah, I think Sharon is city. Sharon fucking sucks. Like, Sharon is really fun to play, but she's just, like, she's just way too greedy, basically. Like, if you can win with Sharon, you can win 3v4, basically. Like, that's when you pick Sharon. If you ever think to yourself, this guy, this guy is drafting so fucking bad, I can win 3v4, then you draft Sharon. That's where, that's, that's, that's when it's, it's her time to shine. Then you can test your theory. Uh, Bidom, she's... If you play slow, she's B tier. She's not that good. If you can pivot into aggro, she's A tier. 
Or like even yeah, I think ARS if you can pivot into aggro, if you if you purely slow, it is bit here. She's really isn't that good if you're purely slow. I barely draft her. Shuna DJB and um, oh hi Shuna. DJB I won't okay, uh, sure, but like if you play slow, DJB is like sit here, I think. DJB is really fucking shit if you play slow only. Because you get zero fucking value. Yeah, DJB fucking sucks, man. Yeah, yeah, for Lilias, ideally you wanna pick okay, so for Lilias, if you're slow, you have multiple options. You can go um end guy Tywin. You can go Luluka plus another cleanser. You can go Elena. Or you can just go no cleanser depending on your team, basically. Because we have a decent amount of units that can play without cleanser into uh, Silas right now. Like I think that's okay. Um Candy does okay. Um Euphine work you Euphine works well, LHC obviously. So yeah, it's not that big of a deal. But you build Luca uh, 270 plus ER, so you can resist Cilias, and then like two two around 220 speed. What you mean by you feel a bit much? She's way too strong. And like she I think Agro is pretty weak right now, which isn't good for the game. Like play styles need to be balanced and like either the ladder is giga fake right now or Agro is actually pretty weak. And like Cliff has already been shit for like five seasons now, which isn't good. Like, I think Cliff should have gotten buffed a while ago, but it hasn't. And now, if Agro gets, uh, yeah, like, Agro, Agro can just get shafted as well. Like, it's starting to be a bit much. Like, the thing, okay, if Cliff gets shafted, it's bad, but at least Cliff players, for the most part, they can play Agro, right? Like, if Agro gets shafted as well, what, what the fuck are they gonna play? Like, they just can't play the game. It doesn't sound really nice. Like, play, every play style needs to be viable, and I think... Like, turn 2 is a bit too strong right now. But, like, it's fine, right? It's just, like, Agro has been too strong a lot of times in the past, so it's not that big of a deal. Like, Smallgate, like, there's no reason to, like, it's, it's like, it's fine. It's just, it's gonna get corrected soon. Like, Smallgate is never gonna leave Agro in the top, like, being bad for too long. So it's gonna get corrected soon, but, yeah. Like, for the first time in a while, I feel like turn 2 is actually, like, really, really strong. I like, stronger than Agro. Anyway, um... Uh, okay, so rivers are done. Debuffers, maybe? Okay, um, so, utility units. Who goes where? I'm um, actually, this is gonna be kinda hard to rank, actually, because I don't play most of them. So it's probably gonna be, like, just gonna be guesswork. So, yeah. It's gonna be guesswork for the most part. Uh, if you play slow, I would say Awell is B right now. Actually, there's no fucking way she's B, man. She's so uh, Actually, yeah, I think if you play slow only, I think picking Awell yourself isn't very good right now. So, I'll go for B. I think a well done agro unit. I think in slow she's fairly whatever. Briseria, uh, she's really awkward to raid. This is basically, this is the same vein as like end guy, Tywin and stuff. If you can pivot into agro, like a bit agro from like, if you can pivot from slow to agro, I think she's 8 tier, even if you play slow. Like Briseria is really fucking strong. If your opponent just like rolls, like doesn't pick any speed contester, you can just go Briseria and just like fuck them over. He's really good. Um, Lua. She's still a steer. Like, Lua is still broken. Arc is just too good. Yeah, Lua is just too good. Like, even if you play slow, Lua is too good. Uh, Briar is a qua. Uh, yeah, I guess she is, but I feel like she's still really strong now. Maybe she's an A. I don't know. I don't play her, honestly, so maybe we knock, knock her down to B. You play slow. I think that's fair. Uh, Rimuru. Uh, he's a good support, nothing special, like BTR. Um, the reason why Rimuru is pretty good right now is because if you build him immunity with like either a protection knight or a guide to a decision, he can just ignore Lua S3, which is really good. And he can just, he can one tap, um, he can one tap Lilias, like Green Lilias. That's why he's pretty good right now. Like he's a really annoying unit to deal with overall, basically. For your opponent. Yeah. I don't think he deserves A though, because like A, a tier units are kinda broken, let's be real. So, like, but I think B, like he's a counter pick, right? He's just not gonna slam Rimuru every game. But he's a good counter pick, so B tier is fair, I think. Yeah, he's good into Candy as well. Like he's good into a lot of things actually. Like AOE defense by also broken as well. So. Okay, um Peira. How good is Peira? B? I don't think she's A, no. Like she, she, yeah, you, you pick her when your opponent goes like candy. Oh, I, I don't know, she isn't that useful right now, I feel. I think B is fair. I, yeah, I think we got enough, like, good solo weavers that we don't need Peira at this point, which is really nice. Okay, um, I mean, I'm, they all B, basically. Uh, Monk, I would say, is B as well. She isn't, like, if you play slow, I think she's still annoying for your opponent. The issue with picking Monk is that, first of all, you need to not be speed contested. And then you need your opponent not to resist. 
And then you need to have enough damage to close out the game fast because Mon doesn't really give you like she doesn't really do that much. I feel like like she doesn't have closing power unlike Lua. Lua is very very good closing power because she gives you speed. She gives speed buff to your entire team. She beguiles the shit ton of damage. She can sleep on unit and she can defense break. Yeah, like Mon doesn't have any of those. Like she's good, but uh, okay, Mon. Yeah, I think okay. Honestly, she even beat here. Yeah, I think she's. I think it's fair. Like she's annoying. Like she's annoying enough to warrant beat here. I think. Uh, Solitaria beat here. She's a. She's still a pretty strong unit, but she, I think she fell off a bit because she's really bad. She she isn't great into candy, and she's really bad into Yuffie. So uh, just because of that, I don't think she's that good anymore. And she's really shit into Tywin too. Uh, Polite is haven't seen her in a fucking while, so I'll put her sit here. Like, I I haven't seen Politis in so, 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 so long. I'll put her sit here. Mm. Does she deserve A, though? Does Fidica deserve A? Maybe not, no. Like, she's a good unit, but, like, B is fair, no? Like, she's a situational pick, so, yeah, she's B. Like, she's a very situational pick. Like, she's strong, but she isn't overbearing or anything, so I think B tier is fair. Um, fairy tail. She's still decent from time to time. She can be uh, like an annoying, um, annoying force band. So, but since I haven't seen her in a while, I'll put her, be, uh, put her in C. Like if you play slow, like your, like your opponent's probably gonna pick something fast, right? So, and she's really weak to immunity. So yeah, I'll put her. I think C is fine. Uh, pirate flan. I think C. I think she sucks. Like pirate flan is so weak to immunity as well. Like. I think since since I since I got my mail on immunity, I don't think I've lost to a single pirate flan. It's just those units are just too cop, no? Like you miss one bomb, you lose instantly. Like I don't, know. I don't really like them, especially if you play slow. Like yeah, a uh, winter I'll put her in B. She's basically like she's similar to Rimuru. Basically, if you're playing Golilias, just go winter, you just win. But like she's annoying unit basically. She's just annoying unit. Like she, but she, she yeah, she's pretty annoying to deal with. So I think she's she's like I think B is okay. It's like, uh, it's uh, KJ that's been spamming that, apparently. Uh, ball, I don't think Ball is needed at this point. I don't think his niche is needed, basically. So, yeah, I'll put him C. A B who? C. I was really hyped for B who, but, um... Nah. Like, he just kinda sucks. Like, he, he doesn't do all... I don't know, he just kinda... Like, he isn't that bad, but... Like... You have counter, yeah, yeah, but like this is for slow players, right? But even if you're slow, yeah, you be, you want your behu to be like 230 plus, like 230 to 250. But even if you have a 250 behu, is he really that good? Like, do you have that much success with it? Like, do you feel like he's actually a really strong unit? I feel like he's so RNG. Like, you miss your debuff on S3, just, I don't know, I think he's too RNG. And ADS, I think she's a bit here right now. She's good into a good chunk of the meta. If she, if he, if her seal was 100%, I would put her A tier, honestly. But since her seal is like 75 or some shit, I'll put her B. Because like half the time you just process one, you just don't seal turn one. Like you just lose a turn lose a turn for fun. Right? Like, why, why are you losing a turn? Like why does the monk has 100 percent chance to seal and then she has she has she has she has 75? Like what? Right? I think that's fair. Uh those were utility units. What do we have left? Carries, right? So we'll make a waiting room. Oh, I forgot Lilias. If you play slow, how good is Lilias? I think she's B. Like, I think she was... Even if you were giga slow, I think she was 8 years before. But I feel like she got... Um, I feel like she got a decent amount of counterplay right now. So if, like, I'll put her B tier. But like... Um, like a month, a month ago, I would have put her 8 years for sure. Even if you're giga slow. Okay? Even if your Lilias is like 270 speed, I would have put her 8 tier. Now though, I, I think she's B tier. I think she fell off a lot. She's still strong, but I, yeah, I don't think she's nearly as much of an issue anymore. I saw that many carries, holy shit. Alright, so, Abigail. Um, Abigail was kinda good back when she was released because Stray's was very popular at the time. Right now, I haven't seen a Stray in fucking forever, so... I rank her C. Like, I think she's a good unit. I think she, like, I don't think her kit is bad. I think she's just bad for the meta, basically. Like, all those units, they don't necessarily have bad kit, just the meta doesn't really suit them. Okay, I'll do the two S tier first, maybe. So, add in S tier, she is broken as fuck. Yes. Do you see the first three? Elias is same win rate, by the way. 
But like, yeah, but like, I didn't speak in like five percent of the time. She's seventy three percent win rate. She's just broken as fuck. Yeah, you have to pre ban Briardo. Like, let's be real. I think it's a lot. Like, if you play slow, if you don't pre ban Briardo, you're gonna have a lot. Like, you can play at him, basically. If you don't open with an opener. If you don't early pick an opener, you can play at him if you don't pre ban Briardo. Like, just, you're just gonna die. But yeah, assuming you pre ban Briardo, she, she's STR, she's quickly broken. But that's also because of her well. If you don't have her well, I think she's like 8 tier. If you have her well, she's STR for sure. But like the thing, the thing that makes turn two okay. So one thing I have to say before, I, like I do the rest, one thing that makes turn two so fucking strong right now is the synergy between units. Like it may sound kind of dumb, but like if Adin didn't have Arwell, she wouldn't be nearly as strong. If Arwell didn't have Adin, she wouldn't be nearly as strong. Like those two, it's just the combo that makes them insanely strong. Luluka, if she didn't have. Candy and um, now she also has um, Yufin. She wouldn't be nearly as strong. Yeah, like all the like those three units, like the synergy. If you can, if you can pick those three, like those five, like you you pick those, you pick those four, you won the game basically. Like you you can't because you you what your opponent gonna do? Like you're not weak to debuff. You're not weak. You're not weak to anything. Like it's actually insane. You're not weak to anything. It's like it's, it's like it makes no sense. You just you just can die and you just click. I know. Like this, yeah. This is what makes turn two so strong right now. Like the synergy is insane. Alright. Um, Alencia, she doesn't have a place right now, so see. She's just like she just doesn't, like there's no reason to pick Alencia. Like why would you pick Alencia? Like there's no HP scaling here. Like no one cares. What's she gonna do? Like she's already not that good when there's HP scaling in the game. When there's not, she's just not a unit. Apoch, she, she doesn't do enough. And she sucks again. Like, Apoch, she's bad into Adin, she's bad into Arwell, she's bad into Lua, she's bad into Yufin, she's bad... <laughs> okay, she's bad into Bri Briseria, she's bad into Silias. She, I mean, she's bad into everything. She's bad into Monk, she's bad into everything, man, like, I don't know. Yeah, I was, I, I was told the cat is playing the same thing, but to be fair, it's really fun, though, but... It's, 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 it's broken as fuck, though, that's for sure. Like, like, I feel like the next 10 units are gonna be aggro units. Like, there's no, it's actually, actually no way, um, turn to stay that strong. Like, it's too strong right now. Like, there's no way it's gonna stay that strong for long. Why do we need more? We need aggro units. And we, like, most of all, we need cleave units, though. Cleave has been shit for so fucking long now. I don't get it. Like, aggro has been really strong, like, forever, basically, but cleave has been shit for so fucking long. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think it's a problem for sure. She's just too good, like, especially she's a 3 star, like, I don't know. Like, isn't the game Giga free to play? Like, actually, I feel like it, she, it kinda is, like, right now. Like, obviously, you kinda need, like, if you have a Zufin, if you have Candy, it helps a lot, but, like, I feel like at the core, at, at, like, your core unit, if you just have Arwell, Adin, and the Soul Weaver, you have to have very fucking good star. Like, even if you're a new player, you can get champion, like, really easily, 100%. Just go Adin, 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 Arwell every game. But you, yeah, they're gonna nerf Adina Rowell. Like, for like, like, maybe not nerf, but they're gonna release hard counters really soon. Like, there's no way the meta is gonna stay like this. Um, Arya, she. I think she's good. I think she was 8 year early in the season. I think she's B now because she's bad into uh, Yufin. I think. They, I mean, they could have nerfed A well since forever, no? Like, I feel like everyone hates A well, no? Like, she's a 4 star, like, come on, man, who cares? Just nerf her already. Like it's like like, like hey, well, the four star. She's been she's been she she's over two years old. Like just nerf her, no. Yeah, but like they spent money two years ago. Like come on, like by now you got like three, three like you got three hundred more well from daily sums at this point. Like does it even matter? Like uh, complaining about a well being nerfed right now because you spent two years ago is the same as complaining because Araminta isn't meta anymore when you had to pitch her on banner um three years ago. It's the exact same reasoning. It's just dumb as shit basically. Like, no one cares that you spend money two years ago, man. Like, come on. Like, be real. I know. Like, I mean, like obviously, people are always gonna complain no matter what, but, uh... Yeah, but, like, people get mad no matter what. Like, anytime, so, like, anytime Smile Gate does anything, people are, like, outraged. Like, I don't know. Yeah. Anyway. Okay, I'll do a runke after. Uh, Belayan... 8 here. She's still really strong. Okay, is Belayan even... Okay, is she... Okay, no. Okay, I'll put her rest here. Okay, okay. I like, she talked Belayan a lot, but... She's really strong. 
But like, okay, the reason I shit talk Bella Yan so much is because she's one of those units that's so strong, you don't need to have them. Like, I feel like I never, ever, ever, ever pick Bella Yan. Like, I'm not even sure I have any Bella Yan games this season. Like, any, like, she's so good, any time that wants to play something that's bad into her, is always gonna pre-ban her. And like, anyone that doesn't pre-ban her, is gonna have a plan to deal with her. And she really isn't that hard to deal with, right? Yeah, I don't understand how she has such a she has such an high win rate elf mage. But then again, sometimes I queue up and then my opponent goes like Lua Spectre and then Bayan is open, so then I understand. But like realistically, yeah, she, she she she's insanely strong, but she she's so strong that you don't need to have her. As cop as it sounds. Okay, do I even rate Arunka? I think B tier. If you play slow, I think Arunka is B tier. If you play slow and okay, so you have two units like though, like that. Um, Arunka and Lilias. Yeah, if you if your opponent plays slow and doesn't contest, you pick Bruiser Arunka, Arunka, you're gonna win 100% of the time. You're gonna one-tap everything. Like, I'm not even kidding, you're gonna one-tap everything. But Arunka, I, I think Arunka is good. Like, I really think Arunka is good. Even if you play slow, I think she's good. Like, again, this is a slow player tier list, right? So this is only if you play slow. So, okay, let's say you first pick her well. Your opponent goes like... Um, LRK. Okay, two. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. let's do two, two, two different scenarios. You pick Aruel, your opponent goes LRK. You can, you can go Lilias. And you can one tap his LRK. And then you get infinite tempo from there and you win the game, just from tempo alone, right? And then Aruka is the same against Aruel. Your opponent first pick Aruel, you pick another knight. And then, like, they go, they're probably gonna go like Adin or some shit. You pick Arunka, she's a force ban, like, instantly. She's gonna extinct their, enti their entire team by herself. Because she cycles really, really, really fast. She, does, she deals insane amount of damage and she, she, she extinct. Like, she extinct. This is so fucking good against slow players. So yeah. I would say BT at least. Like, she's not on every, like, she, because they're counter picks, right? So you won't pick them every game, but like, in the right situations, they're good. Uh, Celine, same reasoning. Celine, she, wait, actually, have I even played Celine a lot this season? Cause I like her a lot, but I don't know if I've played her that much. 22, eh? not too bad. League average 46. What's going on in Master, man? Yeah, Celine, I think she's a bit here. She's still strong. Like, she has her place. Um, Charlotte. I mean, she just sucks right now. Like, there's no. Like, Charlotte just giga bad right now. Like, there's no. Like, she's not. Like, there's no point to her, like, existing right now. She has no. Like, Lendy isn't meta. Spectre isn't meta. Even if they were, she's kinda, she doesn't even do enough damage to kill them, so... Yeah, like, Charles just useless. Uh, Shu cannot the same as Charlotte, there's no, she doesn't really fit... Like, those units, they need to fill a role, right? Like, they need to have, like, a niche, to some extent. Like, right now, why would you play Shu? Like, she doesn't really counter anything that's meta, so... But yeah, no, but, like, the meta is gonna change soon, right? Like, I feel like it's, like, I don't know, like, I mean, obviously I feel like it's fine because turn 2 is broken, but, like... Like, I don't want turn 2 to be broken. Like, I don't actually want turn 2 to be broken. Like, I want the game to be balanced, which, has, which like, it is not, it is not right now, obviously. But, like, aggro has been broken for a longest time too, right? So, I, I feel like it's, like, it's fine as long as, like, they balance it out. Yeah, remove AOL for sure. Uh, they need to remove, like, AOL is just too cringe, man. And I, I think Adin needs, like, I do think Adin needs a nerf. Like, I'll agree to that. I think Adin is way too broken. Um, Lily Patch, she's B, I think? She doesn't really have a role right now, but... Um, I mean, the meta isn't really good for her, but I don't think she's a bad unit. I think Lily is B, like, her kid isn't bad, like, she's a, she's a decent unit, just, like... Not much of a point right now, because the Bever's on very meta. Um, and, um, yeah, same, like, same as the, all of those, like, she has a decent kit, it's just, just a niche unit, but, like, he feels his niche. Uh, Litty, she's C. Lady should be good, but she isn't. Like, she's just too slow, basically, and she's too weak to, um... She's too weak to anything. Like, if your target just has too much HP, you die. If you, like, you miss kill, you die. If you... Like, she's just too weak, man. Like, Lady should be good, but she's just not. Uh, Kawasu. How good is Kawasu? I think B is a good counter pick now. Yeah, I think Kawasu is pretty decent right now. Like, he's a good force ban. He's a good... He's a decent unit. I think 70 is fair. Uh, I think Spitier is fair. Uh, LPK, if your opponent doesn't, like, okay, LPK, she works if your opponent doesn't have uh, AOL, and, um, yeah, that's it. Like, you, you first pick AOL, your opponent goes, like, add in, you can go LPK if they don't contest. 
But it's it's kind of a niche situation, so I'll put RC. Like it's like it basically like it's very rarely happens, I feel like. And um, SSV she sucks. Like it's not much to not much to say, she just sucks. Alright, um Summer Charlotte. She just yeah, like what's her point basically? Like none. Like she doesn't really like, help against any any of the like the good units. She doesn't really like as a bruiser, it's just not, not not much of a point to her, so I think she's fair. LHC A or B. I feel like she's kinda niche at this point. Like I I barely pick her. Mm. I'll put her B. I think it's fair. Like she's a good unit, she's just Yeah, I feel like she yeah, I agree, she's mostly aggro right now. Young, I always told you she fucking suck. Like you kept telling me to pick pick LHC versus Lindy. She's fucking shit, man. Like, like how like how can you say pick LHC into Lindy? It's so bad. It's so fucking bad. Like you just say three, you feed Lindy for free. Like you press S3, you miss every hit to get counter. Then you press S1, you get counter to gain LHC. Like can you just three? Come on, man. So bad. You always knew bad. But yeah, like it's fucking bad. I do think LH is decent though. Like I think B is fair. Like I don't think she's bad. She's just um I think she's good into UP, for instance, to some extent. I do pick her, I do have decent success with her, so like again, like I, 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 I yeah, look at this. Like I played I played like over 50 games already, so, like 75% win rate, I think it's fine, right? Like I played her all, like more than Luca. I think she's a decent unit. I think B is fair. Um SSB C. Don't do anything. She has too many counters, she doesn't really like help, help against like anything, so see. Milim, same thing. Like Milim was made to answer Candy, like no one plays Lindy, so. If you play slow, you're never ever ever gonna pick Milim right now. Uh, Space is shit. Surprisingly enough. Wait! Wait, 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 like you just stun her and then you, you then you then you kill and then you win? No. Okay, but yeah, you have to stun so it sucks. Like that's the issue with this unit, you need to stun. Like if you miss stun, you just lose the game. Like it's not very good game. It's not very good. He's not very good. Okay, is Karina still a tier? Yes. <laughs> yes. I have shit win rate with Karina, but yeah, she's still broken as fuck. Karina is just a great unit overall. She's very um reliable. S tier wait, really? I don't think so. You think S tier? I, I never pick her though, and my one is shit with her. I'm 67, it's so bad. Mm. She's 65 average. Mm. 60, 63. Okay, our win rate is really fucking high. Ah, it is true. Okay, yeah, Karina is broken. Yeah, Karina is strong as fuck, I agree. Okay, next. LQC. She sucks. But the LQC, you need to one-tap the enemy team with a 3 for her to be good, basically. Like, as dumb as it sounds, you need to one-tap the enemy team with a 3, and then she's good. But, like, it doesn't really work, so... Man, like, you see, like, she can barely kill Ken, like, she just sucks. Yeah, she's just bad. Okay, now it's getting, it's gonna get trickier. Okay, uh, Tissurin, is she even meta right now? Like, you have much better options, I feel like. She's not bad, but yeah, okay, at least you. I, I haven't drafted her in forever. I haven't drafted her in forever. MLV is CTR, yeah, I'm sorry, she needs to just... Like, MLV just sucks, man, like, come on. Like, MLV, like, who you pre... Like, okay, so, like, if you ever... I don't even, like, just don't draft MLV. MLV is a for fun unit. Like, MLV is the very def definition of a for fun unit. Like, if you wanna have fun, play MLV. If, and if you, if you have fun losing, then you can play MLV. Outside of that, don't play MLV. This unit fucking sucks. Yeah, yeah, exactly, it's a dopamine unit. Like, that, that's basically... Like, sometimes you can watch your MLV 1v4, it's fucking fun as fuck, but like, most of the time, it's like... Why, am I, why, why did I even mola this shit? Like, it's a very fun unit, but it's shit. Okay, you need, you know, like, he needs one thing to be good, he needs to be light. Like, our wall is so fucking broken, man, it's so funny. Like, any unit right now, you make them light, they're ten times better. Like, I'm not even kidding, like, our wall add in, they make dark so fucking bad. Any unit, you make them light, ten times better. Yeah, yeah, that's just how doomed SSV, like, if you're a light unit, if you're a light carry unit and you're not good in a meta where Arwell and Nadine are in every fucking game, you're never gonna be playable. Like, actually never gonna be playable. Like, like there's no hope for you. Like, the best knight in the game has a stun and boost, like, makes every light unit broken as fuck and space is still shit. Like, there's no way it's gonna ever gonna be good. Like, those units, if they're not playable right now, they're never gonna be playable. Like, actually never. It's just impossible. Like, it's sad, but it's just, it's just impossible. Like, if you're not good now, you can be good. It's just, it's just, just how it is. Um, Spectre, if you play slow, 
Si. Like, do we have a draft specter right now? Like, if you're slow. Like, not really, no. Um, Senya B. How often, how often do I draft Senya? I have eight Senya games. Okay, you know what? Like, as, as, at least she has a positive win rate. So, you know what? Like, eight games, but like, she's good. So, she, she's a decent unit, but yeah. Who's left? Roy. I don't play Roy, so I look up his win rate. 49. Which it. Okay, what's left? Shu. How good is Shu? I think she's good. It might sound cool, but I think she's good. She's just, just the meta is giga shit for her right now. I think the meta is giga shit for Shu. But I think she's a good unit. Like, Shu is good, no? It's just the meta is shit for her, but she's a good unit. Yeah, like, her injury is so fucking strong, actually. You know, like, I actually lost, like, my first, my first, like, Guild War attack, like, last week because of Shu. Like, I wasn't even paying attention, and then I look back at my screen, my entire team is, like, full injured after, like, after, like, two turns. Like, she's so strong, actually, like, what the fuck? She stacks injury so fast, it's kind of crazy. But yeah, I think she's really good, she's good, just the meta is not, not good for her. Candy. Knight. 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 Evasion. Knight. Hmm. Okay, um, how good is Bellona? Okay, so one thing about Bellona, like, I, li I like Bellona a lot, right? Like, I even if I even crafted for Bellona, that's how much I like her. Bellona before Candy became a thing was giga shit. No one was playing Bellona. Now that Candy's, like, I mean, now that Candy's kind of an aggro anchor, how good is she? I think, yeah, I think B, right? Like, B is fair. I don't think she's, she's very good, but I don't think she's bad. But yeah, I, I do think she's a decent unit. I would put her eight here. Okay, I have like I have very good success with Bellona. Okay, like I have very good success. But like I know, for instance, uh, Dread doesn't. And like, I don't feel like you pick her up that much. Right? Like, yeah, look, like she's she's on she's on the second page. Like she's eighty two. I have eighty two percent win rate with her, but I think she's my highest win rate unit actually. Okay, you know what? I I would okay. I didn't want to. But okay, I love her. So eight here. I agree. Okay, 8 here. I love Bellona, you agree? Okay, fuck Ras. Fuck Diane, too. LRK, okay, if it was only me, I would put, I would put LRK in CTR. I think LRK fucking sucks right now. But I've been told Kat has good success with LRK, so... But I, I think LRK is fucking bad. Okay, I wanted to put Blue Tie Win in 8 here, but then I, I look up to his win rate, it was 40%. LRK terrible, okay. You <laughs> Stay no more. Fuck okay, LRK, she needs fucking sucks, man. Just contest. Okay, but like, I, I agree that. Okay, but like the issue, like to contest, is that you need to early pick a contester. Like that's the issue I have. You need to early pick a contest. Because, okay, like. In theory, I agree, right? When your opponent goes Silias, like goes uh, li uh, Green Lilias, I can just pick Winter. Like it's not that hard to make a Winter faster. But what if? But like that's the issue. No one plays like this. Everyone's gonna first pick either Silias or Lua. And what if I can't contest the Silias or Lua? Right? What if I can't contest the Silias or Lua? Then I'm I'm forced to pick like Knights. Like, I'm forced to, to to play reactively, right? I'm forced to play reactively like two, three, four, five. Uh, one, two, three, four. I'm forced to play reactively, and then I just die basically because I can't last pick like a, a random speed contester when it's gonna be slower than the opener. Yeah, I don't have zero. What can you do, man? What can you do? Right. Okay, who's left? Keron. B. Keron is good right now. Keron is good. Keron is really good. Keron is good. Like I think. Keron, okay, I don't have insane win rate, but like look at this. Like seventy percent is not that bad. It's not like 70% isn't that bad. Alright, how good is MLKN? I don't think he's. Okay, is MLKN 8 here? I don't think so. I feel like I barely pick him. And I'm a, ve like, I'm a very big MLKN enjoyer. I was spamming him before he was meta. Like, I've been, I've been playing him since I got him, basically. Like, man, I need to scroll again. This shit is so bad. League average 52. Hmm. 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 52. And he has no RNG. 
Legend 60... 60 isn't that high though for Legend because every Legend player has 60 plus percent win rate. Like there's absolutely no one in Legend right now that's, that's below 60 percent win rate. Okay, but, okay, look, 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 average. ML Ken 60, Selene 62, Destina 61, which is shit. Tywin 60. Okay, like, ML Ken is below Sharoon, man. Like, he's below Sharoon, like, come on. Like, below Sharoon. Like, no, don't, like, like, Sharoon. He's so fucking bad. Like, come on, man. Like, he's below Sharoon. Like, I, I can't, like, I, I can't put him 8 here if he's below Sharoon, no? Like, I don't know. Uh, 60%, man, that's so low. Oh, sure, he's 65. What the fuck? She needs to gear good, actually. Yeah, it doesn't suck right now. Like, 59 is shit. Oh, yeah, if you're low, hello, ML Ken is broken as fuck, I agree. I lost, yeah, but I mean, I lost to Ken with Adin as well, but like, it's just Giga RNG, though. It's just Giga RNG. Like, you can just all the three and then one tap him. Like, you only lose if you just, like, if, like, if you manage to, like, land a hit before. Yeah, but like, it's just RNG, man. Like, come on. Like, the matchup is, like, I mean, the matchup is literally 70, 70 30 for Adin. Like, I don't think it's a decent unit, but, like, he's, he's a counter pick, right? You never just, like, like randomly just slam ML Ken. Oh, he's a gear score unit for sure. Okay, Sel how good is... Okay. Is... Is Selene good right now? Okay, wait, Ken. Okay, uh, B... Okay, I think B is fair. I think B is fair. Alright, how... Is Selene good right now or not? I wanted to try her out, but I didn't get to. Alright, Selene, I don't know. I, I haven't played her, so... Is she good? Is she not good? Like, what Shum told me, and I, I, I kind of... Um, I kind of agree. Um, Selene should be really good in theory against uh, Yufin, right? She should be really good against Yufin. But she's kind of bad. She, uh, she isn't bad against Adin, but she isn't great against Adin. She isn't great against... Um, she's shit against Karina. She's shit against um, Candy. She's shit against Briseria. Oh, no, actually, she isn't bad into Briseria. She isn't great, but she isn't bad. See? Yeah, she's our well 100%. Anything light needs our well right now. Like, if you play light units without our well, you're basically playing them at, at like, 50% of their potential. Like, that, that's, that's basically the case. Like, if you play light without our well, you just... I know. Like, your light units are basically limping. See? Okay, I'll put her C. I think she's okay, but, yeah. Right? It sounds good, no? Right? Things these days tend to be a bit overrated, like, to some extent. Like, for instance, Bochi... Like, when you open my anime list, you saw Bochi at, like, like close to, like, the, the, the Bochi was so irated, man, like, come on. Like, it's a fun show, but, like, it's, like, it's basically k -On. like, it's basically k -On remade. Like, it's, it's remade k -On 2.0, and then, like, everyone's losing their mind, like, come on, man, maybe not. Like, it's a fun show, but, like, that's it. Like, it's not just fun, it's just, I don't know. And I enjoyed Bochi a lot, like, I'm not, but, like, it's not, I don't know.